Hey guys, Tyler here. Back in August 2020, Arrow Video has released a box set for Gamera containing all the movies plus an abundance of extras. However, how does this die margin box set compare into last year's Gamera set? It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Without further hesitation, Let's take a look at the box set and see what it has inside. In front of the box set, we have a design of the giant statue monster Daimarjin and also a shot of a samurai. And the design was done by Matt Frank, who was also the artist for the Gamera set. When you flip the box set around, you get a listing of the different extras in the movies. And when you remove the card, you also get some more artwork of Daimarjin and the Samurai. When you open up the box set, you get a whole separate box that has all the movies plus the extras. One of the first thing you get is a double-sided poster. On one side, you get the new artwork that was done by Matt Frank. On the other side, you get the original artwork for the poster for the Japanese theatrical release. You also get a booklet which contains information for behind the scenes stuff, as well as the transfer for the movies and the various tab bits that were done for the production for the films. There are three separate cases for the movies. On one side, it has the newly commissioned artwork, and then on the other side, it has the original posters for all three movies. Similarly, the postcards also have the new artwork, as well as the original poster artwork for the movies. Prior to Contrary Belief, this is not the first time that these series of movies have been released onto Blu-ray because prior to this Blu-ray release done by Arrow Video, there was a Blu-ray set that was released by Mill Creek Entertainment. While the Blu-ray set for Mill Creek Entertainment was not bad per se, it merely liked the extras that the new box set by Arrow Video has because it has newly commissioned artwork, it has postcards, it has a poster, and also audio commentary and way more video features for this box set in comparison to the Mill Creek one. This new blurry box set is not nearly as big as the Godzilla set or the Gamera set, so this set will not take much space at all when you actually put it on your shelf. From what I gathered so far, this set is actually sold out, so unfortunately it's really hard to get this set as I speak right now because all the copies prior to the release date have been sold out on sites like Amazon.com. Although this set is sold out for right now, I'm pretty sure that Arrow Video is going to re-release the movies again because after the limited edition of Gamera is sold out, they released the movies again in a steelbook and different box sets and so I'm guessing that it's going to be the same sort of case for the Dite Margin films. Although I think that nothing can really compare into the Gamera box set, I still think that this Die Margin set is really nice because it has some posters, it has postcards, you get a booklet, and the box art looks really nice. So you get like a lot of bang for your buck if you get a chance to find a copy of this Blu-ray box set for Die Margin. In terms of audio options, you get Japanese audio as well as the English dubs for these three movies. The first two movies have like the AIP dub and also the um, other dub for this third movie is new so it's not necessarily from ARP because ARP never necessarily dubbed that movie over so it's brand new voices for this third movie. As far as the transfers are concerned, they're not necessarily new. They're pretty much the same transfers that Mill Creek had. However, they look better in terms of coloring and the grain texture is much more better and less blocky in comparison to the last set. However, what's really sad about all of this though is that it's been brought to my attention that the company that owns the Gamera movies and also the Die Margin movies had made 4K transfers of these movies. And so, it's a bit sad that Arrow Videos did not use the 4K transfer but nevertheless, the picture quality looks great. Overall, I recommend this Blu-ray box set. The movies are very fun to watch, and the transfer are good, and the extras are amazing, and it does not take as much shelf as like, you know, the Gamera set. So I highly recommend this set for those who like kaiju movies. So what do you guys think? Please tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for an
Because black friends are rare. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.